Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 11, verse 37 to 41. We're going to get into a couple of woes here the next couple of mornings. Let's start with the Pharisees. So here's what we have. While Jesus was speaking, a Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and reclined at table. The Pharisee was astonished to see that he did not first wash before dinner. And the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees cleanse the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you're full of greed and wickedness. You fools! Did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give as alms those things that are within, and behold, everything is clean to you. So there's more to say here, but we're going to save it for tomorrow morning. But let's just stay with this portion. So somebody asked him to come, and he, he doesn't wash his hands before dinner. Well, you might say, well, that's weird. That's kind of a hygiene issue. No, you, hopefully you realize that there was a very extensive ceremonial washing practice that the Jews had at that time. And the washing of the hands was more or less a ceremony, exactly how it dripped off your hands and everything. Jesus didn't do that. That wasn't a Bible thing. That was a tradition thing. That was a human thing. So Jesus just, you know, dispensed with it. And they were really uh, amazed and shocked and surprised. He's not doing what he's supposed to do. This wasn't about, you know, soap and water. So Jesus begins on this business about the inside and the outside. And because this is a kind of a good way to, to crack into that topic. So a lot of the Pharisees, what are they doing? They're really uh, involved with all these ceremonies, a lot of them that are not Bible things, they're things that they made up. And so here they are, you know, making these special washings and wearing these certain straps and scriptures on the top of their forehead in a little box and interesting stuff like that. It kind of would sound pretty weird to us today, but, but this was a very, uh, this was the way they did it. And if you didn't have those outward signs, you know, it's like, that guy can't be a pious person. And so Jesus isn't doing that stuff. So, in fact, lately there's kind of a trend. We see a lot of Jesus artwork, and he's dressed kind of like the, the Pharisees supposedly would be. Yeah, well, maybe, but uh, maybe also we're adding a little bit too much. Uh, but anyway, that's another topic. Here what we have is this inward and outward business. We, we can't be spiritual if the outward is the outward is fakery, if the outward is hiding a corruption on the inside. And this is exactly the way it was with the Pharisees. And this will be exactly the way it will be with you and I if we aren't careful, if we find ourselves, you know, we're doing prayer beads or doing this or doing that, or we're just, just following through certain things that we do traditionally, but if our heart isn't transformed, guess what? None of it's worth anything because if the heart isn't transformed, then it's corruption on the inside. We need to let God change us, transform us, modify us on the inside. The, the, the light will come from the inside out. It's not going to come from doing little traditions and and made up pious business from the outside in. So friends, it's not that every tradition is bad. The Bible is not anti-tradition. It is careful about tradition. You and I should be careful about tradition, but we should seek for the things that are directed in the Bible and let those things be the primary things. And then the goodness will, if we are open to God, his goodness will work in us and begin to flow outward. But no, by doing the outward pieces, the traditions of men, we might look pious to somebody else, but it's not going to get us anywhere. In fact, it will be actually positively destructive spiritually if our heart is not transformed. Let us pray. Your Father in heaven, we want to be transformed on the inside. We've uh, probably all of us have tried uh, different things, different things from the outside and had the same result. Transformation does not come from the outside in, but from the inside out. So again, we are uh, hopeless and helpless without Jesus. But with Jesus, we have every hope and every help. Lord, we pray that Jesus will come into our hearts, will be fully surrendered to you. You will work from the inside out and transform us, Lord, so that we would not become, not begin to have the odor of Phariseeism in any way, shape, or form. Bless us and use us in your vineyard, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, let's be true to him, but it can only be true if he works on us from the inside out. May his blessings be with you this day.